When the Traverse Bay Children's Advocacy Center opened in 2010, they worked with law enforcement from Grand Traverse and Leelanau counties and with the Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians. We can provide a place and a trained forensic interviewer, if that's what CPS and law enforcement would like, to, um, to speak with the child and to um, gather the information for the investigation. When a child is brought in to be interviewed, it's done in a calm, quiet environment by a specially trained interviewer. Down the hall from the interview, police and others working on the case can watch and listen. That sometimes can give them a new perspective um, and might ignite different questions, new questions um, about the case because they're just seeing it from just like one step removed as opposed to being right in the mix. Recently, an agreement was reached between the center and law enforcement in Benzie County. We've had a loose affiliation with the Child Advocacy Center, um, and we just knew we could do more. And so when we were able to sit down and talk and see what we could do as a team to help these children, we realized that was the right thing for Benzie County. Benzie County's prosecuting attorney says it makes sense to work together to improve what is already a difficult situation. So the kids don't need to you know, tell me one story, tell the Child Advocacy Center what happened, tell the police what happened. They can just do it once and maybe again in front of a jury if necessary, but as few times as possible. Now while this agreement between the Children's Advocacy Center and Benzie County won't cost the county any money or its residents, the Advocacy Center does hope that by adding another county to its coverage area, that that'll translate into more grant dollars and greater community support. In Benzie County, Tom Kramer, ABC 29 and 8.